So this is sketch of my talk. So first I'll briefly review BB quantization scheme. Then I'll talk about problems of defining quantum correlation function. And then go to the resolution of the, of the problem. And somehow that, is, that could be the starting point of giving some age break answer to the question that Dennis used to ask me, that what is quantum phase theory? So I'm not really going to define what is BB quantization as a procedure wise. I mean, what it is, because it will take too much time to explain. So let me just say that, okay, we have some classical phase theory together with class collection, okay, which is some distinguished function in the space of classical field. And the BB quantization one way of describing it is that we want to assign so-called quantum BB mass action as hat, which is related to the classical action in certain way, especially all those symmetry and symmetry of symmetry of classical action should be encoded in this uh, mass action, etc., and it should satisfy something called quantum BB master equation. Here, Here, this uh, curly C describes some unital supercommutative uh, bigraded associate algebra over some ground field. And the bigrading is specified by ghost, which will determine the statistic commutativity by induced uh, uh, mode two grading. And the other grading is something called weight, is related to the physical dimension or physical quantity, especially here we are only considering kind of mass dimension, so the Planck constant would have a dimension one, and the classical action has dimension, sorry, not dimension, weight one, and also classical action has weight one. So if you divide action by half bar, you will have something weight zero. And delta is here yeah, some eight second order age break linear differential operators, with ghost number one and weight is minus one. And being second order means that it's not derivation of product. So the failure to define some bilinear operation, but the bilinear operation is derivation of product. So that is famous seven term relation for second order differential operators. And it satisfies square zero and annihilate the unit. Yeah. And now, uh, if I have a solution to VV, quantum VV master equation, that is, from that solution, I can define a new differential K, which is defined by Hava times delta bracket plus bracketing with the quantum VV master action, which is square to zero and goes number one and weight zero. Okay. To satisfy that the seventh term relation. So basically, we're saying that delta is not derivation of product. So delta x minus y minus degree x, x times delta y. This is non zero. Okay. So let me call this guy the failure, let me say, x bracket y. So this is non zero in general. But this failure, bilinear failure, is derivation of product. So that's what you mean by second. So natural sign with y times xg. And it's squared to zero. And it annihilates the unit. So it's some second order differential factors. Yeah. And we can extend this whole thing, uh, putting this formal parameter to Hava to make it. Um, could you explain an element in that set? This one? power C is over there. Yeah. What is this weight and cost? No, about. Yeah, there. Next. next yeah, thing, so yeah. This, this, I said this is by grade space. A by grade space. And the bigrading is 
something called ghost number and weight. Okay, so this guy is weight, sorry, not weight, so weight one. And delta is weight one, and ghost number one, or not weight one. So is delta is an operator from where to where, from SCL to Yeah, so it's just the operator acting on C, okay. a zebra. It's a linear differential operator, but it's second order in the algebraic sense. Like here. This must be equation. And this a zebra is like this example of topological free a zebra. So you just extend in the formal power series and units stay the same, and then we can extend this product k linear product that k bracket have a linear by linear product by some hard continuity, h hard continuity. So I call it ha like this. Ha ha. Okay, so the second order, the order of an operator, is, in what setting is that to make sense? If the they, setting only for free algebras? Algebra. Or Sorry. only for free algebras? No, or it's just a, any algebra. Commutative algebra. Super commutative algebra. Okay, here, but this this is something called mass equation. This is quantum BB mass equation. Yeah. This section should satisfy. And using this rule, that equation is equivalent to the condition that alpha delta S set plus one over half S set bracket S set equal to zero. So we just work out. Yeah, we have this this equation. Now, one thing that I this weight would play quite important role. So let me just give some motivation for this grading. You know, this, this G grading would be familiar to everyone, but this may not be familiar like that here. So in the physical quantity in physics, every physical quantity has a physical dimension. It has a mass dimension, and time dimension, and length dimension, some kind of a, some kind of, and it's quite mysterious that why, what is the physical dimension. So it's lovely something like, in the space of all physical thing, physical quantity, you have some kind of a C star cube action on it. And the, and those the, the 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 then there's a, the weight of that action for each one, right? It's like kind of physical dimension. I okay. don't know why that is Abelian group, for example. It's totally mysterious. But let's just accept it. Now what business is called? So you're saying ghost number is an element of Z, and the weight is an element of C star cubed? No, it's like weight, which could be fractional numbers. So weight could be rational numbers. OK, but, yeah. but is, it, is it something specified, or are you just saying it's graded by some other group? It is graded by some other group okay. for this purpose. OK, so here, action functional is a code action is a physical terminology. And perhaps you are not very familiar with action, then you can say, you can always remember the, the, the uncertainty principle of our, right, in the quantum mechanics is the delta phi times delta x or is equal or larger than haba, like that. Or energy time delta e times delta t, energy time, that all makes dimension of action. So it has, unit is, this guy has a energy times, energy times time or momentum times whatever, so that's unit, you know. So basically saying that action functional has the same physical dimension as Planck constant. So basically you, you want to, uh, although I'm using, accustomed to using, uh, you call it a picture, but usually they do the, over real, if you do the level, this, this would be kind of pace factor right here, divided by half, like that. And you want to regard this as kind of phase factor. 
okay, of certain wave, then to do that, there should be a number. It should have no physical dimension. That's why you divide action by half. So the same dimension. So that, that's all you have to remember. So action has weight one, and I put half a weight is one. So this is weight zero element. Can I ask a question? Yes. I want to, I want to try again. Are you giving us a construction and a language for extracting information out of this classical action? Or out is there more information in this S hat than there is in yeah. classical? So because I'll focus on this. So I completely forget about this sometimes. I'll focus in the some solution of quantum mass equation given in, the, in a certain setting <coughs> to, to, continue, to kind of uh, de develop the story. Okay, because the procedure, I can describe the procedure, what it is, but it, it is completely ambiguous, uh -huh. and that is not unique, and it's not clear that different choice of this lifting, if you say, or quantization, would give a physically equivalent theory. So in, interpreting what you just said, in terms of what the, the sort of yes or no question he asked, mm -hmm. there is more information in S hat than S, classical. Yeah, okay. There's like there's S classicals built in, and then maybe a choice of quantization. Is, is, is that correct? No, I do not want to. Yeah, I'm getting at the heart. Of, I want to understand what yeah, you're doing. Yeah. You're either doing some universal math discussion that can be applied to any classical action and just extracts things out of the classical action that we wanted to know, sure. or you're telling us something that contains more information than the classical. Action. Yes. And I just want to know which one it is. Okay, the first part of talk, I'll just uh, I'll just concentrate on this part. Okay. So. Okay. Um, I have a math question, <laughs> like a like. <laughs> I didn't, mean, I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> but I have a serious question, like about the notation. Do we have? Do we assume that there's an inner product on on our algebra? Like no, what is this product? But what's the what's parentheses x it's comma y? It's yeah. defined by the left hand side. Parentheses tell you. Oh, oh that's, that's not derivation of oh, product. Oh, that's the yeah. definition. Okay. Yeah. So you Sorry. just measure the failure by this okay, this okay, guy okay. here. Okay. He remember he said it's not zero, so let's call it I, x parenthesis y. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So I know Scott is asking the question, but okay, let me ignore his question. I, I don't understand why you want to ignore it. What? Yeah. Because it, it sounded to me like you answered it, but then when I tried to check that you answered it, I, I didn't. It sounded to me like he said it has more information, and so my next thought was. Well, then there's something else that goes into that arrow that you're not telling us. Yeah. It has more and, and then, and then because, because and maybe you don't want to talk about what else goes into the arrow, but I feel like you can commit to saying there's more. So, come on, the come on to say there's a. There. I, I would say that because I, if, if I said as physicist, I can say answer the question as physicist. Okay. I believe complementary principle. So, you know. No. In certain no. sense, none of this. Whatever, yeah. No, 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 no. Tell us the complementary principle. Even if it's physics, I don't know. We quantize classical world, but classical world is desert of quantization. That's that's kind of plus. So we are kind of poor man, poor people are just given this some classical information that we want to cook up idea of quantization, but we know that classical world is not. Independently existing world, but this kind of result of quantization. Okay, then then that does not make sense because where from where you start? Okay, so the complementary principle is the kind of philosophical jargon that okay, we'll just leave it as it is. You know, to go coherently with that picture. So I, I will not completely discard classical world like that. So that's philosoph that philosophical was. On will, the reluctant to ans answer your question is to, which one has more information? Or like, so that's something that I do not 
maybe this entire picture of the relation has information. But I can give a much more satisfactory answer that what is the procedure from going here to there after doing all these things. Right. So basically in the sense that what I'm going to say after some time would be purely mathematical, but I'm doing the mathematics to answer this question. What is this in certain way? Okay. So that is not really mathematical procedure, right? Okay. Yeah. So this is quantum master equation. Okay. And this equation tells you <coughs> the following. So we have, uh, let me define K. K, K hat, etc. So by Haber delta, with bracketing in SM, just define this K square in this way. Okay. Then this equation tells you that K has square equal to zero. And also by definition, K annihilates the unit of this guy. And if you compute the degree, you know the ghost number of k hat equal to 1, but the weight of k hat is now equal to 0. We make it weight 0. Because delta was the weight minus 1, haba is weight 1. So weight of haba is 1. So weight of haba is 1 equal to mass dimension of ghost number of haba equal to 0. So this, this is true by the master equation. Then if you combine this together, we have this, this data. So this, and we have a dot, and we have differential k. Okay. So we obtain this here. So in a certain sense, we can say, if you forget all those things, the BB con goal of BB quantization, a goal of BB quantization is that from whatever reason, from whatever classical data, you want to get this. Okay? And then we call this BB QFT algebra. This guy that is BB QFT algebra. And why this guy that is important? Because of How did you get, get that equation, that star? Is anything you wrote before in the board implies that one? Size star. Oh, I see. This yeah. equation, together with this rule, uh -huh. if we formally expand it, then you get this equation, equivalent to that equation. So you get the clear case of one. Now, physicists would use this, in certain sense, if they can build quantum mass action by their own method, okay, then they, they, they don't worry about BB business at all. They get quantum mass action, then they have a procedure called gauge fixing, and if you do gauge fix, then they, they know how to do the perturbative Feynman pass integral, and here, and they do some procedure gauge fixing, and this equation was designed such that when those perturbative pass integral they are doing are independent of choice of gauge. So that is kind of guarantee that okay, everything now is independent of gauge. So you can you put your favorite gauge and do the computation that you are, you are learned to and you know how to do. Okay, so that's the end of the story. So, like that. But, Maybe quantization picture give us some amazing new perspective of thinking past integral itself in the age break only. Because here's the this is really idea of Batalin and Bilkowski, BB. BB showed the following. Essentially, we know if you forget about this product. And we have this differential here. And this is just nothing but a pointed chain complex over this formal power series. Right. 
Okay, so we got a pointed coutine because k squared is zero, k zero. And the BV, they didn't say in this way, but essentially the pass integral must be a coutine, pointed coutine map to do this ground link, which is obviously uh, has a unit, one, and with zero differential. As a, yeah? So it's just nothing but a coutine map, pointed coutine map. So saying that, because it's pointed coutine map, so we said C had one C goes to unit, and C had composition K had equal to zero. Was there some other condition you, you wanted here on this star? You said this was your goal. Yeah, but I didn't talk about product here. Couldn't you just have C hat be the identity and have this thing be the trivial K join H bar? You said your goal was to get this, right? No, the, the, that is the physicist goal. Yeah, but they so just, just let it be that. That trivial that example. That? Take K hat to be yeah. zero. So I, I said there's a certain way it should be related, but I didn't say what is the certain way. Okay. I'm sorry. Like so I, I know that drives you crazy. Lowest term has to agree with the Yeah, lowest, actually. like, that is usually, so if you think geometrically, the C, this, this, this algebra is algebra function on some usually a total space of cotangent bundle twisted by ghost number minus one of certain superspace, which I call it L. L is related to L classical? L contain, L classical is inside of this here. So you're, instead of having classical field, you are adding more degree of freedom because of gauge symmetry called ghost and ghost of ghost, etc. So essentially, some part of business before you go to the class quantum is really like you are doing some kind of resolution. You kind of like resolution, like here, you have resolution is something, then resolution make your space usually larger, right? Making all the degree, like here, it's got to a certain A. And this will be obviously a Lagrangian subspace of this, this, this thing here. Then if you restrict S can be expanded, as said, expanded with something like S, plus hava S1, etc. In the expansion of like here, then your S restrict to Lagrangian, this Lagrangian, ex extended Lagrangian, should be your original classical action, etc. So there is all those kind of conditions. So you, you are not okay. getting something trivial. Okay. okay, again. Yeah. So I can give almost complete answer that what, 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 what the procedure is, but can I just say to skip it? I'm going to story. So BB observation is essentially, if I translate in this language, it's pass integral, it's nothing but a, a pointed chain map. And you know, because it's pointed chain map, here, this would be defined up to homotopy. Right? So, C hat would be homotopic to C hat prime if it's related to something like RK or something. R is some degree minus one map, etc. Then they are homotopy. G other, like here. And, Jason, can I ask a question? So, in my understanding, they usually define in the physics, in like Vital and Vilkovsky, say the path integral is defined on the kernel of K, which is a little less information than having a whole, a map from the whole complex. Yeah. Do you, is there, is it just set it to be zero and some complement of the kernel? Or no, I think I, matter, I, I or? kind of, they, they will say it this way, but what they are saying mathematically is this. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how you define it. Outside. Yeah, it doesn't matter how you define it. I mean, what they are saying if you translate in mathematics, it's just, oh, it's just pointed good chain map. Like, yeah. Okay, then we have a pointed good chain homotopy type. And because I mentioned about gate fixing or something like that, so their interpretation is that you deform C hat 
within the same homotopy type that correspond to change of gauge. But I have a different choice of gauge fixing. I have a question about that because you were saying that this equation here, which essentially defines k hat, mm -hmm. was also related to gauge fixing. Independent of gauge. Oh yeah. Because so I, because now I don't see. Because they they are not interested. They are they are they go. They, we, let me call this whatever quantum expectation. But what, when PG say something is embedded, they are talking about quantum expectation value. Yeah. So basically, what they're saying is that they, because this is could say we're not following through. If I have a something O hat in this guy. such that it's belong to corner of K, mm -hmm. like here, then we know the C hat or O hat, okay, would depend only on the cochain homotopy type of C mm -hmm. and the cohomology class of O hat. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. Um, is As K the BRST operator? No. Oh. K is not BRST operator. K contains BRST operators. So the other still phrase is that you you have k, then you go to the classical limit, Haber goes to zero, then you restrict it to your Lagrangian, then it will give us something that is called BRST. But usually it's more than BRST. So in the classical, if you do this here, the, the classical symmetry is actually usually not B algebra, it's an L infinite algebra actually. So you have a kind of cartan allenberg differential for at infinity version of cartan allenberg differential. It's part of this K, just classical part of this K, which I'm not. Okay, so we know this. Then this thing, which is expectation value, the value of this guy, depends on only on the cohomology class and the cochain homotopy type, okay? And so they say, a quantum B be observable. It's by definition, as John said, that if you use this expectation map, the value should not depend on cochain homotopy type. That is called quantum observable. So if this satisfy is satisfied, we call it O, and it's a quantum B be observable. Okay, so if you put it in this way, and there's nothing mysterious about passing table. It's just the, you know, just 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 the cochain map. Because quantum phase theory, when people ask what is passing table, what is quantum phase theory, they are always asking two questions. Right? First, we know we don't know what is it mathematically. And the, even if you know what is it mathematically, then we have actual burden of constructing that gadget out of given problem. Because that would be also a huge challenge. But the situation seems to be that there's no agreed upon definition of what quantum field theory is. Right? That makes all those like confusing, right? Because there's no definition. So are you sort of so I'm supposed to think of C H bar as my collection of observables, right? And this is an association that tells me the mm -hmm. expectation value yeah. of that observable. Yeah. So usually when we say expectation value of observable, we're thinking of a state in mind. Like if you have a field theory, you have a state. Is this with respect to the vacuum state of your theory or what? Yeah, so there, there, there's a translation that, that, that you are talking about. So usually you have a, some, some vacuum state or eigen, eigen state of some, some operators, etc. And then we are doing inner product with the dual of the state and operate the self both joint, non commutative etc. Right? So that, that, that language, now we are doing kind of pass integral approach. You can say that is we are really doing this. You can imagine there's a security, there's a vacuum, some vacuum state, and your O, O is an operator which is acting on the vacuum state, and then you put the dual of that thing to, to get a number. Okay, but now the point is that because you bring out the state, the state vacuum state may 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 have annihilator, maybe annihilator. But annihilator 
if you assume that you are living in the state, you never see annihilator, right? But you can see the shadow of annihilators. And essentially what I'm, okay, it's not difficult to explain, but essentially annihilator of the state correspond to the symmetry of the state. Okay, if you have a symmetry, it means that you have some kind of degeneracy, something is not free, you want to resolve it, and you can say differential K was created to, to resolve the symmetry. So it's a kind of resolution of, of redundancy of your state by annihilator. You know, at the, Arthur at the very beginning said C is, C is your space of observables, and you said yes, but... Image of... But I, I, I think those are all the functions on fields. And the only ones that are observables, the only ones that are invariant under the symmetries, are those that are k-closed. I think that's, I mean, that's what you just yeah. said before. Okay. So, so that's what I think. So you can say, okay, now you have a given vacuum. You have a particular symmetry of the vacuum. If you act, act an operator there, you, you create new state. Okay, you, you, have, you want to have some evolution, some variation of evolution of vacuum. Right, kind of that, that is how state evolve, evolution of bacon, but you want to make, add, add something to make it evolve. You want to preserve the original symmetry of the bacon. Okay. So, so you can say that that is this condition. Okay, you want to preserve original symmetry of the bacon. So, yeah, this equation. You can say this equation is. If I start try, okay, then I will never able to what I want to say. Well, so I, will, I will tell you separately. This equation has that that thing. It's basically you have a vacuum state, which is kind of kind of quotient module of some non-commutative algebra, like here. Because this quotient module, you don't have annihilator. Usually, annihilator would, would think of that it's a translation in translation operator. That would be annihilator, like here. So. Basically, then you kind of dissolve that translation symmetry on a later, then you actually obtain second order differential operators, which is squared zero. It is like you can say this is a dual of Chevrolet Allenberg, Chevrolet Allenberg, I mean, the algebra homology. Translation, that is Abelian the algebra, you dissolve it to compute the algebra homology, then you get that. Can, can I, may I suggest that we leave measurement and evaluation and vacuum aside yeah. and yeah. just say um, C hat is expectation. Mm -hmm. It's the expectation of the measurement, but leave the states out. Okay. This is quantum. The module of states is sort of it's not on the board. It's Let's call this map quantum expectation. Yeah, just the point. Yeah, just the point in Yes. But I like the state between so much. I actually regard the BB entire whatever BB or is homotopy version or whatever as kind of a you know bad imitation of what is going on. But I mean, not, not talk about that. Yeah. Keep doing that. I will never be able to finish any paper. So I want to finish paper these days. So. Let me just go in the tank. So, okay, that's it. Well, then it, because this is a co-chain map, like right, either induced, well-defined map and the cohomology. Right? So that means that actually the expectation value of quantum observable depends only on the cohomology. Right? So what is present here? Just the linear map from cohomology to the ground plane. Like here. So that's good. So we understand pass integer is. Yes. That is that that is the suggestion of Bartholomew. So this is BB. So you can say BB B is really very good suggestion. I use different language just. So, so just to be clear, if like summarizing this, you have your input data is some space of fields, um, a choice of a function on that space of fields, and then your output is 
this um, BB algebra with the... Um, this guy? This, whatever I call it, BBQFTA zebra. Right. And the path integral is now a cochain map, pointed right. cochain map. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But we, well, we know there's li there, we know just little bit more about this map. And what will happen, how this will interact with this product? Yeah. Okay, that, that is the most important question. And how all this thing will interact with product? One thing I like to point out clearly that this is a algebra of this, and this is algebra of this. This would never be an algebra homomorphism. If it is algebra homomorphism, it means that there's absolutely no correlation. So usually correlation between x and y, you, you measure by, you, you take expectation of product of this thing, and product of those expectations, right? If this is non-zero, means that there are correlation, mm -hmm. etc. But this is our expectation map, right? So if it's age of homomorphism, it will be always zero. Mm -hmm. So that would be not true. The second thing, somehow in the classical limit of this business, we kind of want C had to C has to be in the classical limit to age of homomorphism. Because classical observation. If you think this is what I did, this is some functions on phase space, etc., then classical observable is just a function on those phase space, and classical measurement is just the evaluation of that function at a point. So it's just evaluation of that evaluation, and you know the evaluation is always isomorphism. Right? So in the classical, this would be isomorphism to you know to homotopy or something, but. Quantum theory. So in general, this would not be a homomorphism. So. Okay, so I want to ask a kind of a Scott-like question, which is: um, <laughs> do, Does your path integral C hat? Do, do you build that out of any information from the classical uh, data? Hmm. Do, I mean, physicists when they have the path integral, do they have to add a bunch, or does it come sort of out of the classical setting? It kind of comes sort of out, out of classical setting by adding appropriate, you know, goals and etc. because of symmetry. So they realized, Patan and Belkovsky realized this as an integral over Lagrangian subspace in this, this great superspace. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, 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 that is a map. And you, then now you to deform this Lagrangian, okay, if you belong to the same homology class, etc. Okay, then look for the condition how this integral would not change. Mm -hmm. Depends only on the homology class, etc. Because for them, change of this like length and subspace correspond to change of gauge. So that is interpretation. <coughs> and they want to figure out when the integral would be integral would not be defined on the on the, on the definition like that here. And I can if I can give the finite dimensional model if classical Space of classical field was just finite dimensional space, manifold, and it's just a function. Then the procedure I'm describing up to there can make a completely reverse everything, including C as well. That is the theorem of Schwartz, Albert Schwartz. Yes, Do you have a reference? Albert Schwartz. Geometry of BB quantization. I think that was. So this is the geometry of the condition. The is that Schwartz by himself or Schwartz and Kinsevich and A K S D? Well, Schwartz himself. Uh, but there's no H bar consideration there, but anyway. So there's, there would be a nice example of this setup. I mean, that's, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, thank you. But that, that does not really matter. And for me, I don't even care about if I can explicitly write this down in any means. For me, all I need is just a pointed quotation map. Because I first I think that expectation value of quantum observable itself as a single term doesn't really have much information. It's like you are all alone in the universe. You just, it's about you. 
absolutely no relation with others. I mean, wh wh why should we know such information? So for me, all those important information is in the correlation functions. Right? So let's go to define quantum correlation function. For this, we have to know there's one property that k is not derivation of product, but the failure of k being derivation of product would be harbor something, right? Because k is harbor delta. So failure of k being derivation of product is harbor something. Okay. Now, that is very important feature that k is not a derivation of product is absolutely important feature for the quantum correlation. So assume that assume that k was derivation. Okay. Then for any eta, if I decay something, sum of solvable O is this form, whatever. K something and k then we know that expectation of this guy, whatever C we use, we will always settle. Right? Those means that O hat, you make any file of this, that will be also K something. So, O hat would be also zero for any end. What does angle brackets mean? Oh, this is the C hat of the C hat angle bracket of O. Some, we assume that already we have some choice of homotopy type here. Because it's cumbersome to write. I mean, psychologically, I'm more familiar with this guy. This would be zero. Okay? And this means that this destroy everything, because this tells you that something O hat, for example, square divided by O hat times O hat, this would be always zero. But in the, in the quantum correlation, even if some, something, expectation value zero, does that mean that their correlation function also equals zero? I think, they call it what? They may call it this, this is something delta, not BB delta, but so delta O, something like that, squared. When you say delta P, Delta x at the same delta. But anyway, so, so it's close. So we know that if C was H homomorphism, no quantum correlation. Okay? So if K was derivation, no quantum correlation. So somehow to have information of quantum correlation, the K being not derivation of product is absolutely necessary to get the pitch. Okay, so that's that's very nice. But because but naively, Pitches used to say that if I observe of O1, I, I'll forget about O hat from now, times, then what is the quantum observable K01 and K02 equals zero? Okay. Then you know their expectation is well defined. But physicists usually the correlation of these two quantum observable is the expectation of product mm -hmm. of quantum observable. Right? So, but this is clearly problematic. Right? Because K is not derivation of product, this would not be in general corner of K. So this thing will depend on homotopy. And secondly, even if by accidentalism or some grade is concentrated negative degree or something like that, or zero negative degree, then this would be automatically K closed. But if you, even if you do that, if I choose another representative, O prime one times O prime two, which are the, another representative of Cohen-Rudd class, they are not. The expectation is not equal to zero, not not the same, because it it is not derivation of product. So it, the, if you do the product, the Cohen-Rudd K Cohen class of product would depend on choice of representative on here. Because it's very simple. K is not derivation of product, so product will no, not go down to the core mm -hmm. okay. so, so you said you know, this is very clearly a problem. But wh what's, what, what is the reason that physicists 
don't see a problem here. What, what's special about their considerations that allow them to just proceed blindly and then actually predict experiments yeah. anyway? The reason is that because after getting quantum mass the action, they'll almost immediately gauge a fix. It means that you go to the Lagrangian subspace. You know, pain of caving derivation of product is Brock harbor something of bracket of this 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 or whatever this symplectic manifold space. But if you go to the Lagrangian subspace, bracket all vanishes. Right? So all those kind of things will just disappear. Uh -huh. So, so they don't need to encounter this problem. That's why they are never serious about. They, they don't even think this problem exists because what? Because maybe quantization was kind of their guarantee. Mm -hmm. What they what nearly do is the doing perturbative pass integral and the linearization, etc. So they don't nearly use the full BB Gaze. But what I'm saying is that if you put in this way, oh, this is really nice mathematical interpretation, then why don't you use this thing without gauge fix and forget about where it come from? We just start with from age bracket and try to figure out what is quantum correlation function out of it. If you think in that way, we are clearly facing this problem. But, but, uh, but it sounds like you're saying that, they, that the physicists choose us uh, uh, they, they pick a space of representatives in which this BV operator is a, is a derivation. But then why aren't they getting zero for all their correlations also? No, I didn't say that. They, they go to the Lagrangian subspace Yeah. at the gauge fixing. And somehow they, they believe their procedure commute. You have some quantum observable in the big space with quantum mass uh -huh. action, then you gauge fix, then you get something which you call nearly observable, PGS is called observable, of Langdon and subspace. You can multiply them, yeah. the gauge fixed one, yeah. and evaluate pass integral and say they are the correlation function. That's what they do. So somehow they believe, so they. In certain sense, they're completely ignoring this problem. That is one thing. Other sense, or they kind of believe there's some kind of commutativity. So you, you kind of do classical procedure in the Lagrangian subspace procedure, or you do it individually to the whole space and do something here, and they're kind of commute, whatever. And maybe there are many different choices of lifting, or maybe there will be some physical, the physical principle tells you that there's unique lifting that doesn't matter what kind of lifting you choose. It's a, they, they may have that, they kind of, like that. In a certain sense, it's very sound philosophy, so they kind of complement it. So that's why they usually go. Uh, oh, before you, I, I missed your point here. Are the O primes obtained by applying an automorphism of the algebra? There's this O, o prime. Change the cohomology representative. It's just a change of representative, it's k -dum. Oh. So that's the reason why we, when you do the <coughs> homotophage, but always that differential is always derivation of like this binary operation. Yeah. So that so that you, you can push down this structure to the to the homology. But we have problem here. Okay? So there's two two resolution. One is like not terribly good, but it's kind of nice. The first resolution I'll just briefly mention. Thank you. Forget, so forget quantum VB observable. And replace them. With what they call homotopical family. So, 
So what is like this idea? Idea is very simple. Like usually in the in the statistical whatever in the in the proverb in theory or something like that, you you are, you what you are really interested in is not just the expectation of random variable, but you are interested in the distribution of random variable. In other sense, you are interested in the whole moment. Proverb is the same as whole moment. So instead of you are not really interested in this guy. But if this was observable, you are really interested in this guy. Let me call it in this way. Is your point, don't ask for a C hat on the nose, just ask for a homotopy class of such yeah. C hats? Yeah. Okay. Such that, because we are now decided, whatever we are defining should be invariant of homotopy type of this map. So only thing that, that do that would, like that. Okay. So essentially, you want to exponentiate observable. If ko equals zero, you want to exponentiate this guy with kto, etc. You want to do that such that this equals zero. Those might be easier to build in practice to prove their, you know, just find a homotopy class might be builder might be easier than to find an actual sure. map. Yeah, and also that I, I, I like to say that. You actually don't even need, you all, in a certain sense, all, all the value you need, in a certain sense, is that one goes to one. So, and uh, that's it. I mean, that you, there's absolutely nothing to compute, I would say, in a certain sense. But okay, and let me not go to that. I mean, that, that yeah. So essentially, we, you want to exponentiate this one, okay? And because k was not derivation of product, this condition does not imply this one, right? Mm -hmm. right? So basically, this would be not always true. So if this is one, then you kind of add correction. Etc. We want to add corrections. Like here. So let me call that corrected one as something like e to t into gamma, which depends on t. So mm -hmm. there's some, some kind of correction. Now you want to say, okay, is I have there, gamma is that t. one o one, or are there many o ones there? And there many could t's. be many o one, but one o one, like for I mean, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Let me just like say it's one o one. one. Okay. Like then you have a you have a something this equal. You want to have this equation. Now you want to figure out gamma prime is equivalent to gamma t, okay? When e to gamma prime expectation is same as e to gamma. So this is your definition. Okay, just figure out what yeah. this be relation. Okay. This relation tells you because it should be corner of k e to gamma prime minus e to gamma should be k something. If you deform in this way, they'll have the same distribution, right? Okay. Now you just want to solve this equation, but this equation is nothing but put power minus here. K gamma t plus one over half gamma t gamma t equal to zero. So we are just solving moral Cartan equation. By the way, I didn't mention it, but this failure divided by Haba, which is our bracket now, together with K is a DZA by, by definition. Okay. So you just want to get this equation, the same equation like here. And you know what this is. Okay, we are solving just moral Cartan equation of DZA. We know that it's the same as at infinity morphism from somewhere with zero at infinity structure. Wait, I have a qu I have a question. I feel like I understand why you divided by h bar when you looked at delta e to the s hat yeah. over h bar. But what about here? Because I want to make this. I want to regard this as a deformation of your original action. Um, so this equation is same as. Delta e to minus half over one, your mass action plus gamma t. 
But are, are you interested in like the expectation of O times O? Yeah. And the expectation. Right. So uh, when you divide by H bar, you're asking for something a little different, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. But you, you can always divide by half bar. Pro make multiply by half, I said. So I think you are asking something. I you know some that that kind of. But okay, let me dodge the question. I, I know what you're asking, and but there's a. I don't. I think I don't have time to explain. Okay. Then why I'm doing that here? Um, I don't. I don't know. If, is gamma associated to an observable? What is gamma? gamma if you do the, if you go to the infinitesimal solution, that would be the something k good. So observable is now infinitesimal solution of this one. Wait, is gamma one? is t01 yeah. plus t squared o2. This is gamma t. And it's a power series function in some of the right? Yeah. How, and, but you're saying there's some way in which the oi are related to o? The oi started with? You said something o k one is k and o observable. O1 o1 is o. O1 is O, and I'm adding correction. Okay. So yeah. Is O the first term in an L infinity morphism then? It's, it's a Kuchain map part of L infinity morphism. Whoa, wait. Uh, how is O a, a morphism? Image of morphism. You can, you can say, you consider a, a vector space. One dimensional vector space. One dimensional vector space with trivial L infinitesimal groups. L infinitesimal groups trivial. You regard this L infinitesimal group. Okay. So then it's one dimension, you choose a basis or something like that. And you consider L infinity morphism to, to this guy C, K in the bracket. So this L infinity morphism will have pi 1. I two, etc. Okay, then, then you choose gamma pi hat something that so you you add some dual parameters to the dual parameter, and the chance case is really about the how you assign weight. Well, I, I was just I was trying to understand Samir's question, but now I think I do. T, you, you have T O. So you can really, by dualizing, you can think of O as a map from T star exactly. into yeah. C. And so it's part of a map. So this exactly. is pi 1 E, you can say T scale pi 2 E, E, etc. So if I have a map, morphism, I can associate this element here. And because this was containment part, this is observable part. Right? Because you know that. K pi 1 equals 0. So this is leading model solution from here. You form this series, and something I think you already know, which is part of homotopy probability theory, is that if you change at infinity morphism by at infinity homotopy, maintaining the same homotopy type, it turns out e to gamma phi. This, this in relation is satisfied. If it is one L-infinite morphism, there's another L-infinite morphism, and this, and this is L-infinite homotopy to P, then this difference is always K something. Like here. So that's how you de define distribution. So, so this idea of homotopical family of quantum of Sokov is nothing but uh, some at infinity morphism from trivial at infinity a zero to this D Z A and homotopy type of at infinity morphism, you declare that as a homotopy family of observable, that then that family will have an intrinsically defined distribution on it. Okay? So and also, as I mentioned before, this seems to be a very nice interpretation. In some sense, the, me, the way I load down with Harvard, et cetera, it seems to be we are really deforming original quantum V reaction to this guy, gamma t, gamma t, so, like that. so we are really doing the deformation theory. OK, 
Okay. And then, because this term is controlled by this L infinity morphism, and depends on you know, the homotopy of L infinity morphism, then you may say, oh, the formation of quantum field theory is also governed by L infinity H about DZA. Okay. Like that, and it seems to be like giving that, that idea. But that idea is somehow not correct. Like that. So this is, I only got this poor resolution. Because why? It looks okay. I mean, that's physically poorly. See with We can take a break. Why don't you say why this is no good, though? Or say two. Or say two. Okay. Why? Why this is no good is first of all, you can decide. You want to define a co quantum correlation function of observable. What kind of quantum we kind of decided what is observable is the K cohomology class, like here. Then now you want to assign something called distribution of expect correlation function to that cohomology class. Mm -hmm. But we know now that so then it will be the leading term would be de de decided by that one. But then you can add this correction term. Mm -hmm. But it's very easy to show that even the leading term, even the Kuchain map part is homotopic with each other. You can you can change this pi at infinite morphism such that Kuchain homotopy type of pi one does not de determine the at infinity homotopy type of at infinite morphism. Oh, yeah, of course. I think. So, then you have a burden of saying that, okay, which homotopy type I should take? You can have infinitely many different choices of homotopy. You can, it's not infinitely many perhaps, but you can, such that you can make the, the quantum correction of this correlation function arbitrary value. So it kind of lost the pre predictive power. So what decide the homotopy? Among all possible, it, like that, how, how we associate something with the, with the physics terminology. So, so that, is a, that is the main problem here, main problem with this guy. I mean, I, 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 I guess I should wait until you say what 2 is. But what you just described as a problem could also be a feature. I mean, yeah. So anyway, <coughs> maybe you should say what 2 is, I guess. And the two, the two, two, two has a different perspective. So two, second resolution. So it's about the, so I have to say a little bit about now the quantization. Quantization problem. So we had discussed that. product and this differential k, but let's take the classical limit, half equals zero, then you have just unital commutative associated algebra, and I have something called q. So remember k was half delta plus s hat bracket, but s hat has expansion s zero, half s zero. One, essentially, we have that expansion. Right? So let me define Q as S0 bracket. Like that. Then this is really the classical limit. Okay? So we have Q. And this is something very familiar. This is nothing but unital CDGA. Something we know very well. We know everything about this guy. So now you say uh, an element O in C is called classical VD observable if it is annihilated by Q. Okay. And the two classical observables are classical physically equivalent if they belong to the same cohomology class. Now, 
if you consider any quantum observable with this equation, then this will always contain, always contain this all part and have a correction part, etc. Then this will always satisfy Q O equal to zero. Okay. So instead of this thing is given, we may actually think from here, saying that quantum observable, construction of quantum observable is some kind of quantization uh, of classical observable. But we know this because Q is derivation of product. We have well-defined product in the homology, and we know there's this maybe C infinity algebra and all those things. Homotopy or something like that. That kind of thing. We know we know all those theory like here. So there's no no problem, no problem like this on the end. So basically, I think that the real issue here is following. So from classical BB observable, we go to quantum BB observable. Again, in the in the former sense, just meaning the former sense. Closed. Closed. Wait. Such that this is corner of Q and this is corner of K. So uh, we are doing this, doing this procedure, thank you. But we know in this void, because we have derivation, we have a nice algebraic structure in the cohomology, but here we don't have such a thing here. Right? So basically all those mystery that I told, you, depending on the representative, etc., was really about the nature of this map. What is this map? Nature of this map, that the the feature of this map is that this map, whatever it is, I didn't really define how, what is this map, how we set up the map, but anyway, whatever that is, that would not be an algebra homomorphism. That is not an algebra homomorphism. So, this map is not an algebra homomorphism, and that, that causes all those problems. But that is the essential feature of this thing. So then, basically, we, we can form a distinguished family of homotopic quantum observable out of that. In the sense that from classical observable to quantum, that would be not algebra homomorphism. But you know that if you take classical limit of everything, it would be algebra homomorphism. So the failure of algebra homomorphism should be divisible by half of. And that will give us some binary operation from homology to the chain. Right? And that will give, give us this pi 2 part of, of this L infinity morphism. And then you kind of go back and forth, classical quantum, classical Gobin press using that thing, then generate the entire series. Then it's possible to generate a distinguished family of L infinity morphism from classical cohomology. This is classical cohomology, L infinity cosine morphism to the this DJA. Here, the very distinguished one. Yeah. And so that is kind of an idea. But it turns out that, that there will be a lot more because we have a product structure here, in both product structure here, and we iterate from cohomology to chain, etc., we all know that this thing will produce massive product, like usual A infinity structure, minimum A infinity structure here. Okay, that is classical part. But we go with the back and forth with the non agent homomorphism, that will generate quantum correction to the massive product. So we have a, if in this picture, if you go to the cohomology of this guy, then it will be unital algebra, then we will have something like and we have something like M2, we have something like M3 degree minus 1, M4 degree minus 1, etc. This is associated product homology. This is the first messy product, so first part of minimal LMP structure. Yeah. But this could go back and forth, we produce an infinite family out of this. An infinite family out of this, infinite family out of this, etc. 
and understand this entire family, age of restructure of this entire family, together with its relation with the original BBQFT algebra, will give you, give you the idea of homotopy CQFT algebra. But it's just a name, okay? You just work this out, then on classical homology, you find this homotopy some algebra, which I call homotopy CQFT algebra. Lovely shape would be like this. So that's why it's some complete crazy relation. And there's a relation with the chain level. We give you an idea is that what is the morphism of this homotopy CQFT algebra. Can you stop for just one second? So I'm trying to understand back, you know, you, these were supposed to be resolutions of a particular problem, which is that you take two things that are k-closed, you multiply them, and their product is not k-closed. So the first resolution was modify, no. make choices so that you add correction terms so that the product is closed. Is the second resolution is related to this map. Does this mean take your two, your O1 hat and your O2 hat, and then go back to the, take the, yeah, H so bar equals zero is a map back. O2, so, so you go there. No, 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 well, you start on the right, but then you get to the left by setting h bar equal to zero. No, I'm, so I'm, I'm not from here, then now, but I changed my viewpoint. So I later put the importance to the classical picture, okay, and try to understand this assigned map here. But you know we can take product here. Yeah. O1 times O2. Yeah. But if you quantize it, it will not be the product, product of this thing. But it, yeah, it'll okay. start out O1 times O2, you said. In the classically, it will start out O1 times O2, classically. But like this would not be quantized, if we quantizable. Wasn't that it's quantizable, then it will not be as the product of C. That's the, 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 the failure means. Yeah. This, so it means that we just need to understand the nature of this map very carefully. So One thing act, which is very clear is yeah. that this map cannot be an algebra homomorphism or two homotopy. Yeah. But, but if, I'm just, if I just want to do that one thing, compute correlation of O1 and O2 hat, I take O1 and O2 not hat, multiply them. Then quantize it. Map them over, put a hat on them. Like you get lots of yeah. terms now. Mm. And now take K of that. It's yeah. closed. Yeah. If it's quantizable. Because this map, from classical BB observable to quantum BB observable, would have obstruction. Okay? So basically, we need to understand obstruction completely, then figure out what this map is, how, what is the precise algebraic relation, what is this map anyway. Then you use this map, then you cook up some, some huge homotopy algebra and uh, some quasi morphism to, to the original BBQFT algebra as a CQFT algebra, right here. And if you look at this information here, that basically right. tells you how to define all form correlation function, yeah. also how to define homotopy correlation function that physicists yeah. never, you should never think about. Yeah, and I mean, you know that. I mean, with, you said many things that it, it went, oh, went by me, like, you know, what these massy products and these and so on and so forth, but like on the surface of it, it's not clear that one and two are different. In other words, choosing, taking O and making a gamma out of it doesn't, on the surface, look different than taking an O and making an O okay. hat. Because, uh, so the difference is that it gives it give a choice of, preferred choice of homotopy type, okay? So that means that if you think as a world -like space uh. of quantum phase theory, then you, of course, how would you describe modelized with quantum phase theory? You would say, oh, I have original mass action. If I believe BB, okay, this is the condition. Then, okay, let me deform this. Gamma with some whatever user deformation theory. Some parameter, this equals zero. But then this tells you, oh, this is K gamma plus one over half gamma plus K gamma equals zero. Okay, then, oh, this is usual. Then, it, the usual deformation functor that we know that the, what is the natural isomorphism is at infinity, cos isomorphism. 
and if they are homotopic, they are all the same, they are equivalent, etc. And even also this correlation, whatever this expectation value of e to gamma divided half, we know it depends on like that. So oh, we get this model aspect, maybe obstructed or not. There, there, there may be something here, or drive deformation theory, whatever. Okay, okay, this is my modelized space. Okay. Then the solution of this equation is nothing but just a, a homotopy type of an infinity cosmorphism from cohomology. I agree. And that an infinity cosmorphism, homotopy cosmorphism, identify if there's a no obstruction, identify this mod solution with the affine space, which is cohomology. So, in a sense, they give you coordinate. And a coordinate system on your like that. So homotopy type give you a coordinate, kind of formal local coordinate. Yeah. But it give you very specific homotopy type. And that coordinate is I call it quantum coordinate. In the special example, that quantum coordinate corresponds to special coordinate in, in string theory, or those flat coordinate in Saito's theory of singularity, and all those. Provenience manifold structure, that kind of thing is a special case of this notion of quantum coordinate. And somehow, now we know, and then somehow the idea is that the belief, I think my belief is that only those, that is the correlation function we observe in, in, in the physical universe. So this gives us a choosing homotopy. So when you say two quantum fields are equivalent, it means that all those physically observed whatever quantum correlation functions should be the same. Right? It means that actually it's not just uh, if you think in this way, okay, what would be physical equivalence? Oh, we have deformation theory, the formation function is equivalent is at infinity equals isomorphic. Then the physical equivalence would be at infinity equals isomorphic. Right? And says no, it's not. It's much more sophisticated thing. To be physically equivalent, it should be at least an infinity cosine smoothly, but that is not enough. We have very specific solution, an infinity cosine uh, specific solution to be matched together. To, to have that. Then, if you do that, so that is what cosine smorphism of homotopy CQFT algebra would do. That means that you will have an entire collection of this, all homotopy correlation function would be. All isomorphic. Thank you. So, yeah. so, so I, I think, I think you you were saying here in number two, going from these O's to these O hats, chain map, algebra map when H goes to zero, produces these gammas. But yeah. not all gammas can be produced from something exactly. like that. Yeah. And the ones that go there, there are some computations you can do, which which are well defined up to some equivalence over there that's not well defined here and gives you additional invariance. Exactly. Okay. That 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 the correlation is about from here. So okay, so I think we should take a break. I mean if, I mean I didn't say tell how how we do this and what kind of structure is this. But, to break out to talk about that. But there, there but I, yesterday I decided I'm not going to give you the full bosom. Full bosom means that usually this cohomology, dimensional cohomology is not finite in quantum physics. Mm -hmm. Never would never be finite. Unless it's a kind of topological phase here, etc. But for, for the sake of simplicity, I'll assume that these cohomologies are finitely generated. Okay. Then we have a very nice geometrical description, like it, what I call ad infinity equivariant Hava plus super connection is the algebraic structure. So it has all those ingredients like of those twisting could chain and all those things ingredients that, that we learn in the graduate school or something, like all those things would it, it gives like that, and it produces some kind of harbor connection, which is similar to the Delin's lambda connection. It's related to some, some hot theory of some non abelian hot theory, etc. that kind of thing. But with the super connection, which obviously related to the quillens and that idea, 
but instead an equivalent bundle, but not over group. The group or the age well, but there was some kind of homotopy person, okay? That they kind of appear. And that is kind of a quantum structure if you put that in a finite structure. And if you consider a very small portion of it, sometimes you get proving as many. It's just the shadow of that, that structure. Kind of semi classical, unobstructed sector has a provenience manifold structure. So I'll do that after the break.